In this video, we're going to look at multiplication, applications, language, and notation. So, we're going to look at four simple problems that involve multiplication. And again, our goal is to think about the structure of multiplication and what multiplication means. So let's read the first question. Bernadette is having a party. She invites five friends over and is going to make three cupcakes per friend. Here comes the question. I'm going to highlight that in green. How many cupcakes does she need for her friends? Okay. So you may already know this answer, but let's think about this. So there are five friends. So let's call them friend one, friend two, friend three, friend four, and friend five. So each of these five friends, she's going to make three cupcakes. And I'm just going to make those circles since I can't draw cupcakes. So there's three for the first friend, three for the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. So notice we have five groups of three, or sometimes we'll say five copies of three. So you could think we have, this is one copy of three, and we repeat it five times. And if we count these in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cupcakes. And we might write this as five times, so we use a dot sometimes for multiplication, equals fifteen. And in this case, case the unit of our answer is fifteen cupcakes is what she needs to make. Okay. So one way we can think of multiplication as some number of groups of some other amount. Okay. Uh, notice this, we could have written three groups of five. That would have been three friends with five cupcakes each. And although it would have been the same amount, 15 cupcakes, it would be represented differently because this is five groups of three, not three groups of five. Let's look at the next question. You are purchasing five DVDs at a cost of $3 per CD. And here's our goal. What is the total cost? Okay. So let's think of this as we are adding $3 five times. So let's put one, first DVD, second DVD. So there's five DVDs, so I'm labeling them up here. And for each one, it costs $3. Okay. And we can think of summing or adding these all together. So combining the $3 five times. And we know 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is $15. And when we write multiplication this way, we can see that one way to think of multiplication is repeated addition. So you may have your times tables memorized from, you were, from when you were little, which is very useful. It's very good to be able to multiply things quickly and know that 3 times 5 equals 15. But another way to find it, if you didn't happen to remember that, is that you can add 3 to itself 5 times. So, this result is 5 DVDs. We also sometimes use this little x for a times. Do times $3 equals $15. Let's look at two more ways to think of multiplication. You are carpeting a utility room in your house that is 5 feet by 3 feet. And here's the question. How many square feet of carpet do you need? Okay. So let's draw a picture of this. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. Okay. And your utility room is 3 feet in one direction and five feet in another, okay? And we're assuming this is a rectangle. Most houses have 
straight walls. It wouldn't be a heart-shaped utility room, probably. Okay. Now, we want to fill this up okay, with carpet. So let's see how we would do this. So I'm going to break this three feet into single feet. So now this is one foot, one foot, and one foot. So from here to here is a foot, here to here is a foot, here to here is a foot, totaling three feet. Now let's do the same thing here. I'm breaking this five feet into five equal one foot segments and I'm labeling them below. Okay. Now imagine that these are all perfect squares because they should be even though I can't draw them perfectly. Now what we want to know a square foot is think of this as a piece of carpet that's shaped like a square. Okay. We want to know how many of these fill up the room. So notice there's one, two, three, four, five. This is five square feet and again this square is one square foot of carpet. Okay. So here we have five and count the second row and the third row and notice there's a total of 15 square feet of carpet. So I'm going to write this as 5 times 3. Sometimes when we write that we're going to multiply numbers, we put them in parentheses. And when they're right next to each other like that, this implies multiplication. Okay. And we had a total of 15 square feet of carpet. And we call this the area model of multiplication. Okay, so you may remember area from geometry. Okay, and it turns out when we find areas, we end up, you may remember, you multiply the length and the width of a rectangle, but we'll talk about that later. And that gives us the total amount of square units that fill up the object. So this is another useful way to think of multiplication. And finally, you are walking at a rate of three miles per hour for five hours. That's the given information and our goal is to find how many miles you have walked. Okay. So this one, we're going to make a number line for this. So let's say that this is your starting point, we'll call it zero. Okay. And I'm going to pretend this is where you're walking. Okay. Now, three miles per hour for five hours. I'm actually going to make two here. Okay. So let's say five hours. Here's one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours. So I'm going to call this time. And these are the number of hours that have passed. <clears throat> now on this one, we're going to look at your corresponding distance. So after one hour, it says you were going three miles an hour. So after one hour, you've gone three miles. After two hours, you've gone another three miles more than the three miles you already have. So this is six miles. I'm going to use MI for miles. Three hours is another three miles compared to six. Four hours is another three miles compared to nine. And finally at five hours, it's three more miles compared to 12. So in five hours, going three miles an hour, you've gone a total of 15 miles. And we're going to think of this as your accumulated distance. Okay. And I'm calling it accumulated, accumulated because we're thinking of the total amount of distance you've covered in five hours. Okay. And notice again, like all the previous ones, this equals 15 and it involves three times five. So 
5 times 3 equals 15. Okay. So these are some but not all applications of multiplication, but we'll use these to think about how we're going to multiply larger numbers and connect them to other ideas.